Alright, yo, what's up, guys? So today, I'm gonna showcase this base that I I built. It's a 1x2 bunker. Uh, I don't know what this is called. Just call it a funnel wall. I'm not sure. It's four externals. It's pretty cheap. If you look at the resource plot cost, that includes everything, by the way. Like windows. Oh, I forgot something. That includes windows and everything, so don't mind that. But other than that, this base is really, really good. You got wide gap peaks and everything, so, so let's get started out here. Uh, each external looks like this. You can change it to whatever type of machine you want, but you can easily disconnect it by doing this. Of course, if you play to us, you can make this. Now, come inside the the gay house there is two gay houses for this base design i had four for the original but i changed it up because this little funnel wall helps a lot uh, you also have two shops you can you can have a uh, an airlock here if you want instead of this but i, I kind of just like this because you can have walk-up shops people will trust you and stuff like that you know what i'm saying but you come inside here um you you have these window peaks these are the best peaks if you want to have uh this type the other window window embrasure it's not good because it's harder to attract people and then you also have these uh compound breach peaks whatever you come inside this this part of the compound you have a turret protecting this part of your base so if you want to have a refinery here you can but i honestly have it inside the little funnel thing we'll see in a second yeah nobody can do that so if you're wondering um this does lower stability but with this funnel wall thing it you will have less auto turrets so less coverage in here but you should be overall safe because they they do cover everything so if you're standing right here you're gonna get shot if you're standing right here if this furnace wasn't here you'd get shot but they have nowhere to go as well um so you also have everything the compound should have now to get into inside your uh, little funnel or little inner mini thing, I don't know what it's called. You come in here through these double doors. And in order for somebody to really go deep, you, or like if you're coming in here, you're gonna have to open this door anyway. So always remember to leave this open. They can't get in. No one can push them in or anything. You come inside here. You have obviously these little peaks. You have mixing tables. Your oil refinery. Some little breach peaks. You come up here. You have these peaks. Somebody's laddering up, or is up chunking over your compound. You know, these pretty convenient. Um, the compound is isolated into a few, few like ways. So like, if you come this way. If, if let's say you're trying to get into the base, come this way. If you can. This is going to lead to your bedrooms. Okay. I got to put the bed here, but anyway. Um, as you can see, you can't really go to inside your base because this is the bedroom right here. But let's see, you come over here to the other side. You can't. So this part of the base is isolated two, two ways. But this side actually did the bedroom. I just I did. What I would do is I put turrets right here. Because if the person is running inside, the turret will shoot them. It will keep you protected. I also like to have a small box here. Let's say you're trying to sell your comp and you can have some syllables, but I forgot to put that. You'll see here in a second what I mean. So you come up here into the base. You have a bedroom to the right. This is also, I'll show you this in a second. But back. You have a large battery, you can have a vending machine here, this, or you can just cover it off and have it as any And same thing on the other side. You have a bedroom, like I said, a vending machine, and your jump's off right there. Now, where I was going to go to is this jump up. The only, re the only time you're going to have a roof over your your uh, ladder hatch is this this part in time because these are shoots so pick shoots up to your shooting floor and i'll show you this later but you know you have some pretty good coverage over your compound no one can see you but you can see them it's pretty convenient now going into the core as you can see um this is not patched though. as of 2023 april so you know i don't think it will get patched anytime soon but you have some storage up here uh, now let's go down here. If you're trying to unseal your bunker. There you go. And then to replace it, to the frame, on the roof. Boom. But you know, 
I'm not going to have that open. I have a repair bench here because it works. Never place bags or beds or research table here because it won't let you seal it. Research table is first of all too tall and bags, you can't have a roof over it. So make sure you don't make that mistake. Uh, so you're going to ready your teammate's bag is right there. Just have them. Don't place that there. We also have some more storage boxes down here and then right here. You have a hidden um, box boxes underneath the, the floors, so and they are fully protected on every side. Honeycomb. Everything. You come to the rest side. You have four box storage. So your starter. And then you also have your tier three. I would have my tier three in here. I have all my explosives down there. It's your main part of the base. But we will show you. I uh, will show you the open floors next. You have a locker in here. Let's see you spawn in. Gotta get a kick quick. Then you have a vending machine. If you're wondering where TC's at, you don't see it, right? Come over here. So you have a small box here. And then to access your TC, you click open door. There's an armor door. You don't have to have an armor door there, but you can. And then there's your TC. Right there. Upkeep, a line and a half of metal, and then that HQM is fully optional. The reason I have that much HQM is because there's going to be three armored single doors. You don't have to have three armored Only one, honestly, is what you what I would recommend. And then these are two armored ones for core. But, you know, pretty light work, you know. Now, if you're inside these bedrooms and this door is closed like that, and they're breaching. So, you can, you can leave a hammer in here in the locker or something, pick up this window, and you have full coverage. You can see some good peaks and everything inside the your base. You know, it's a recommendation. Uh, now you come over here, and this is what I was talking about, some sealables you can put in here, like code lock this, I'll say no one, no one takes it. And the reason why I use the ladder hatches open this way, because if raiders want to go up there, they still have to raid through it. So that's why I have my, my ladder hatches open like that, it's like an airlock. So, come up here to the floor, and boom. The reason why you can see everything is, that turret right there, covers this entire place if, if somebody wants to stand here they're gonna get shot stand here they're gonna get shot anywhere here they will get shot and as well you have another turret up there covering everything else and you have these two you have another eight box of storage total let's say 16 you have around 30 boxes of storage you have these two you have the tier two small box you have some resources for meds in there and then your vending machine for whatever you can also like Remove that, put a window frame and a battery and a locker right here. But that's all always up to you. And uh, of course, of course, moving on. Come up here, more sealable boxes. And again, this little airlock. So you come up here. Now you have this floor. I would recommend you have a like a triangle floor here and have a turret. It would cover most of your beds. The only bed it won't cover is this bedroom over here. Because let's say a raider sitting in here, they can't get shot. You know, I would recommend it, but honestly, it's kind of a pain in the ass to climb that ladder hatch, but it's always up to you. And then simple bedrooms, they can't break it, they can't they can't break it, but they raid through. And then for the players that don't have a bedroom on the roof is these two bag these two beds. They also have lockers if they like. These are quick everyone access boxes or lockers. And then you have two ways out to your uh, shooting floor, and uh, these two, and of course, your shoots come up here. And then you come down into here, you have some pretty good peaks, you have these inner compound peaks. You jump up here, you have even better visual, and of course, you know, it's a really good overall sight. If you're sitting right here, nobody out there can see you or shoot you, so you can literally just sit here and hold. Somebody runs past, spread it down. Um, and then right here you have these, uh, these I don't know, wide gap peaks and everything. You don't have to have your triangles like that. You can have it like that, but honestly, I prefer it like that because you can have like more of a zigzag like peaking position. If somebody's holding with a ray tower and this is like that, you can literally get sprayed down into your feet so easy. So I'd, I recommend that. And that goes for every base, not just this base specifically. You also have some uh, heli shooting peaks if you're in here. And heli's like right up there, you can spray you know. Now going up to your, uh, your roof, you can, you can have a bed here and a locker, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it just for a 
accessibility, but I would put a bag here for sure. I'd have beds on the roof. Room. But then you have these uh, these inner shooting floor peaks and roof peaks, of course. Um, come up here. What I normally work is my turrets. Um, let me show you auto turret. I normally have my turrets right here, just like that, on each side. And this covers about everything. Let's say somebody ladders up there, they're gonna die trying to break that turret. Same, same goes for this. And what I would also do is I'd also place either bags or small boxes like that. If you place a bag right here, I'll show you. Just one singular bag here. Place your pouch for your, uh, your uh, one little right up there. It's the most ability, but what I would do is. The reason why there's no stability is because if, if I place stuff in here, as you can see, if I do that, it works. But you know, if I did that, it's gone. So, I wouldn't put my, my uh, one more right there, but you can for sure. But you know, if you're crouching right here, you can literally just walk and head glitch them. Like that. That's an insane head glitch. Let's say they're right there on the external. Just head glitch them. I would never expect that. And then the same goes for this side. The reason why I don't have my uh, roofs connected because like that. Because first of all, it looks goofy as hell. Second of all, it's more convenient to have it inside because you also have these little little peaks right here. Let's say you can get better visual all around the comp, all around the, the whole base in general. But, you know, that's how I have it. And you can also have a, what's it called? A mini garage up here. It's still protected. The whole the whole place is protected by the auto turrets. So, it's up to you, honestly. So, you have, what, six bedrooms. This is, honestly, I'd say this is a trio to quad base it's pretty pretty cheap to build like externals two slots not even two almost two slots i think this one's bugged i should go live because it's not 179 for sure more than that but it's, yeah it's around this so three slots of uh of tc you really need to put an upkeep this is the overall base it's pretty expensive let me do a rocket test right now, straight to core. Let's hit these two. And if I was to hit this... Then, oh yeah, let me close it. side of the base anywhere else it's probably gonna cost more because they'd have to go through more walls but 51 rockets through, through, through straight walls and no turret defense no player defense that's a lot let's say you're defending online which is this base is really meant for and the turrets were online as well they're gonna spend way more than 51 rockets if you really think about it that 51 rockets would be what like 
three three rows, I'd say. But that's yeah, around around three rows, a little bit more, maybe less or better. But yeah, this is this is the base cost if if you wanted to build it. Um but I will show the tutorial on how to build it soon. It depends if this video pops off or not. But if not, you know, it's gonna it's gonna have to be a private build.